Hi, my name is Marissa and I was diagnosed with metastatic breast cancer in July of 2020. My name is Paul Delavecchia and I was uh, diagnosed with chronic lymphocyte leukemia about uh, five years ago. Hi, my name is Shanice. I was diagnosed with stage two hormone receptor positive breast cancer. Hello, my name is Jonathan Torres. I had testicular cancer. Hi, my name is Victoria. I am from Willingboro, New Jersey, and I was diagnosed with colon cancer in February 2021, and I am a cancer survivor. I was 23. I have a kid that was 11 months when they found it, and um, I was sad. I was. I was depressed because I was like, um, I'm probably not going to make it. I was in a state of disbelief. I just remember saying, how is this possible? How is this possible over and over again? I went numb. Uh, my wife's father passed away at age 50 from leukemia. And so the two of us were, were really frightened. Why me? I can uh, remember uh, always having a fear, uh, starting when I was a child, of dying. Uh, part of my treatment was uh, sessions with a, uh, a Cooper psychologist. You can't control it, she said. I felt that there were going to be no alternatives, no treatment plan. Uh, you know, I didn't know about the stages, but I just assumed that I was gonna die. It was just fear of the unknown. Um, I was scared to lose my hair. Uh, I was scared to uh, find the reaction or get the reaction from my son. Actually, I had a stroke. That's when I realized that I'm really bad, but then it changed my mind. I said, wait, 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 like the next day, I felt better and I was like, whoa. I, I keep going. I think God came to my heart and he told me it was gonna be okay. One of my things that I was afraid of is that I wasn't gonna be able to have children. Um, I luckily got my eggs retrieved one day before my first round of chemo. And also losing my hair had been a huge impact on me. Um, I dreaded the day that my hair was gonna come out. I cried for days, months probably still do cry about it. Um, but I just wore a wig and now I am loving my new hair growth. I just look at the bigger picture of life now. Um, I think each thing that I go through is with more purpose. Now, I have a whole new outlook as far as life. Um, Little things, if I can get it in my head, it don't bother me. I try to get it out right away. But when everything changed with the cancer, it made me even happier. Enjoy every second of it every day. I used to be like an anxiety warrior all the time, but I just know that you can't control everything. So I kind of just, I've calmed down so much. I think I just hold my loved ones closer. I, I definitely wanted to spend more time with my family members. Um, you really don't know how much time you have left. When you hear cancer, you think you're gonna not make it, and it's not true. You can't make it. A positive mind goes a long way in your treatment plan. Family is really important because family support you. My wife is my uh, my, my rock. Uh, even though she says uh, she is not a good nurse, uh, she is the, uh, the, the best nurse. Find your support system. Find your, your community. My friends and family decided to put a walk together for me to fundraise. Um, I wore this to my walk, and all of my family members also had shirts that said, like, my granddaughter is a fighter, my daughter is a fighter, my girlfriend's a fighter. So 
This blanket was one of the first things that I brought to my to my chemo uh, my chemo infusion, the first one. And it's just it has words of affirmation that just help me through. Spending time with my kids, having quality time with my husband, laughing on the phone with my sister, uh, my friends, um, going out to the grocery store. <laughs> I made a vow to myself to live each day like it was my last. I decided that I was gonna do something, whether it was go to the beach, go fishing, go on a you know a trip to the city stay for the weekend i did something every weekend on those off weekends yeah that's my son he's my motivation he keeps me happy he keeps me busy that's why i don't think a lot <laughs> keep me smiling and keep me going i saw on public television a uh, gardening show and um it was a, a show about a husband and wife who, after years of working hard, both retired uh, in their 70s and began um, gardening. And I thought, how great this is, two people growing old together and sharing a common interest. Um, we have to, uh, in my development, uh, put the uh, plants in containers. So uh, uh, that's what uh, uh, I've been doing. And uh, hopefully I'll have a harvest this year. And the only thing that I look forward to is asking Dr. Grana a million questions if I can do certain things, like if I can go get a tattoo, if I can go get a new piercing, keeping her on her toes. <laughs> My son's gonna have a story where he go to school and I'ma tell him, you know, um, I'm a survivor. Um, all this happened quick when he was little and I I stay strong and positive to be here with him and enjoy more time with my son. I said, doctor, you gotta keep me alive for uh, 15 more years. I have a well, why? I because I, I promised my, uh, my granddaughter I'm going to dance with her at her wedding. Uh, and so how old will that take you to? I, I got to live to at least 85. And he's out with it. We'll see if we can get you there. Um, I have like a whole list of places that I want my boyfriend, my boyfriend and I to travel to. Um, I just want to, I guess, just live my life as nothing stopping me. I'm still gonna go and I'm still gonna be alive for more and more and more years because I'm not gonna let cancer bring me down. No way. Nothing can bring me down. <laughs>